the different Zwiegespräche are much more than I can talk about because when you create something, it, it's so multi-layered, every connection. The Zwiegespräch, I mean not only between Kurtag and me, but between Philippe Jacotte and me, between uh, Marie-Lise Schüppach, the other oboist, and me in, in duets, between the bass clarinet and me with uh, Ernesto Molinari, and both the duos, two oboes or, or with clarinet and, and English horn, the dialogue with the, with the composer. It's a sort of giving and taking back. And, and it makes the, the whole program a little bit unusual. It could be like a biographical line through the whole piece, uh, through, through the whole recording. And I wanted to, to have this like, uh, through a certain pe period of my life, uh, a diary. It's a very special thing also, this biographical uh, character of diaries, when I, I was very, um, the only time in my life I was very ill in hospital and then in rehabilitation. And then I started to write uh, madrigals about Angelus Silesius for four or five voices. Yeah. Uh, about Ichts and Nichts, the nothing and the something. Yeah. And, uh, and this rose was the first uh, set. And I, I thought I write every day such a madrigal as if you have the yeah, the calendar, and you survived one more day until yeah, I had ten days. And this was very unique in my... Uh, that it made me compose with, without any pathos. I just thought I tried to fix this day, I tried to fix the other day, along those very, very beautiful poems or prayers, if you want. And I think uh, Kurtak had a, a very similar approach to, the, to those poems, but the way he, he treated the text was, was not the same as me. For me, I, I thought of the old madrigals, so the 17th, late 17th century, four voices, very, and he thought only on a bicinium for voice and English horn. That's only a, a Zwiegespräch between voice and instrument, another Zwiegespräch. His very personal approach, and probably also, which included some nearly dramatic moments. M my music was a sort of noli me tangere, don't touch me yeah, character, which was uh, defined by the situation it was written. Yeah. And, uh, 
And I think it's very nice, this dialogue between the two same texts, between the two composers, between the two um, instrumentations. Yeah, it's, it's really music, it's not one little layer of the music, it's, it's, it's all. And for me, I never say I'm conductor or oboist or composer, I'm simply musician, that's all I'm, I am. But this includes everything, <laughs> even poetry and painting and everything, <laughs> philosophy or whatever you want. <laughs>